receive free will. Praise be to Jesus. Bwana Yesu ainilie atukuke milele na milele kwa sababu ya wema na fadhili zake ainilie mwokozi. Atukuze bwana wa Bwana Mungu wa miungu yote ainilie. Haleluya kwa jina la Yesu. Haleluya kwa jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mahali popote ulipo haya hothe uli. Ngai witu ni mwega, Ngai witu ni mutumi. Ngai witu ni aritha na Ngai witu ni akanaga wega na mudhenya wa umuthi thutha wa matuko maingi. Ni doka ni getha tora ni likiwo kia Ngai. Tuweza kumeka mkate pamoja na u mashata paka. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Come on somebody. Come on online. Okay. Wadi kyo raji dore la wiku. Nusho kyo share. For as we share. There is a special blessing for you. Because you are becoming a social evangelist. Yes. Fika na ushare. Fika na weze kushare. Kwa jina la Yesu. Ili tuweze kuendelea. Tudhi na abere. Jack James. Asante sana. Kuna mtu hapa wananiambia hi, happy mashujadi, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Take a moment and share. Take a moment and share. Take a moment and share. Ndi niweza kuleta neno, haliduja. Share. Ndi niweza kuleta neno la mungu. Asifiwe sana. Ya. Wahua karibi, praise the Lord. Help me share this video. Help me share this broadcast. Yes, kwa jina la Yesu. Help me share this broadcast. Share this broadcast to the glory of God. Edmund K. Athengera, how are you my brother? God bless you. Pana Yesu wa kubariki. Daidi yiku share. Na moji redi rone kanate ya mwe na ushio. Inowega, tuihamwe, Favored Clinton, tuko pamoja. The idea yiku share na ukijire mweno siyo haa na ate ya. Nige ya dhatu vitu wali diye wega. Na kama unanisikia vizuri, it's good you tell me that you can hear me very well. And it's a good blessing to be with you this wonderful afternoon. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks. Father, we give you honor. We adore you, Lord. You are our God, mm -hmm. we are your people. Without you, dear Lord, we are nothing. Jehovah, bila wewe sisi ni buri. Bila wewe Yesu, bila wewe bwana sisi hatuko. Bila wewe bwana sisi hatuwezi kufanika kitu. Na niposa adhuri ya leo. Tunanyelekea chini ya uwezo wako. Ya kumba bwana ukatusaidia, bwana ukatuokoa. Bwana ukatutenda wema, bwana ukatuinua. Bwana ukabadilisha. Hali zetu katika jina la Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. I want to give you some time to share. Because as you share, I'm going to be releasing the word of God. Tunaendelea, tunakuomba. Tunaendelea na kuomba ili. Tunapoendelea na kusoma neno. Tukaweza kupata ufunuo. Very clear. Santi sana pamoja. My producer and Mount Kate Kathingira. That's my brother and my producer. Kati naonanga niko na maandishi na pita pita hapa. And ya nanisaidi yanga hayo maneno. So, I want to give you an opportunity to share. Because what I'm going to speak this afternoon is powerful. And it's gonna bless you. It's gonna lift you. It's gonna change the way you think. It's gonna open something. Kwa jina la Yesu Christo. Baba tunakupa sifa. Falme wa amani tunakuwa budu. Wewe usie shindwa tunasema asanti. Wewe ulie inuliwa juu, mwana kondo wa mungu, tunakupa sifa mungu ishie milele. Wewe ambaye hakuna jambo liku shindalo, hakuna mungu mwingine alie kama wewe. Adhuri ya leo mfalme, tuko mbele zako. Ili utusaidie unene na nafsi zetu, utupe mwelekeo, utumulikie, 
uwe ta ya miguu yetu bwana neno lako likaweza kutuongoza neno lako bwana likatusaidia katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu asante kwa sababu wewe peke yako ndiye Mungu katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini kila mtu aseme amen sema amina Tony MC nimekuona nimeona M Monica Wangari Lydia Vuguso nasema very loud and clear Esther Jeru nasema tuko ndani mm. Monica mm. Wangari wa Kitengera uh, Lydia Vuguza Asanti uh, today word explosion hallelujah Tuesday word explosion Tuesday word explosion praise be to Jesus Bwana Yesu ainuliwe Yes it's a Tuesday word explosion we indeed bless the name of the Lord we thank God help me share help me reach even more uh, <laughs> even more I see my brother I see my brother Eddie you are doing a nice job may the Lord bless you mm -hmm. my sister Morewa Dagi I have seen you I have seen Dorcas wa karogo Dorcas wa karogo nida kuona na nikwenda tudhome kiwo kia guy dide nago ikara actually I am I am somewhere na 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 nikwenda tugayane kiwo kia guy tudu mihali maudu dira igwa gieda kuga wana asifiwe kuna mambo nasikia nataka kusema kuna mambo ambayo nasikia nataka kuyasema bine nasema kwamba katika zaburi kumina sita lafuri kumina idada tu Mwiki gai kira uga atiriri. Murugu gita gira. Amuno haliwe. Degi witeiti. Nede kiti ya kwira jehova atiriri. Uwe newe muadhani wakwa. Dile na udumwega. Tiga ulea umete haliwe. That is Psalms 16 verse 1. Vili nasema kwamba. Neda udi wadha idhaga gai. Aka mwira muadhani gitera. Aka mwira muadhani degia. Aka mwira muadhani hitha. Todu no halewe tu degiri tetie. No halewe gai itagio na uru. Mdhanya wamo tidoka kukwira atiriri. No halewe gai tu utagio na uru. Tareke guire. Maudu ni maremo the weekend. Gutire kudu wati utari. No wana kuu nyupeo yaku. Eo ikara gaya wale hile na biasi yaku. Kuu niko liogo wati. Todu no uguthiru kuwa neli itima. Ugudhu wa shuhu. Nekuli ugu wati kuli olu tagawira. Nekuli ugu wati galine yaku. Ilio ine ilio leyaga. Nekuli ugu wati. Come on somebody. Nekuli ugu wati maudu ini maria mothe wika ka omu thena. But the Bible says that kitagira uwe Jehovah gai wakwa. Niamu no halewe itagio na uru. No halewe degilitetie. No halewe dena security. Hela nyakia nda karibu sana. Dekete kuira Jehovah atire. Newe mwadha ni wakwa. It is high time we make a covenant with God. It is high time we start speaking to God. We start telling God what we want and what we know and what we are sure of. Ti maudu magu taganiria. No ni maudu marere. Ma kwera gai ya terere mwadha ni. Niene jowe ni kule gai mithemba meike. Niene jowe ni kule magogona mithemba meike maraluto. No ni gai we newe gai wakwa. We wo bilethi na iguru. We gai wa Ifrahimu na Isa kana jakufu. We no we tu gai wakwa. We no we dere hoka. We no we guiri girira. We no we guru mirira. We no we deru tagira magogona. We no we de idha idhaga. We no we deru magirira. Oh my God, my God. We no we de dhika gire diolio rajira. Ne hi dalea kuira gai. Ate ne mati dheru. Gotire na gai yoge mutu olire ine waku. Tiga gai oyu wa igoro. Wabira igoro na ade. Daudi ya kemoira. Nede keti kuira jehova atere. Wenewe muadhani wakwa. Wenewe oja dhaga. Wenewe ude idhagia. Wenewe onyi itagirira. Nye dire gai ege joe. Dio e gai eru guru wa mute. Dio e gai yo biro na teri. Dio e gai yo yasho giro kuma higaine. Dio e gai yasho giro kuma shumaine. Dio e gai ya kuruguo na shuma. Dio e gai ya kusho goi higaine. Dio e gai ya kuhigiru hado. Nye joe gai ule wabire igoro na the. Come on somebody type amen. Hallelujah. Na. 
ni ihinda andu moe musimamo ni ihinda we mwitikia we muhonoki urugame na rangi umwe utige gukoragwa wi yero lainini urugame lainini ya kuhonoka lainini ya kurumirira ngai lainini ya kufuata ngai na ngoro ya kuyothe na meshiria makumothe na maundu makumothe for the bible says here ati ngai akirwo ni daudi atiriri ni ndikitie gukwira we jehova ati we ni we mwathani wako I have told you, Lord, that you are my God. Nothing good. Hakuna jambo nzuri. Gotiri udumwe gagai ni ikiona. Utaliho. Haya ni maho ya malitumono. Haya ni maombi mazitu sana. I pray that you share this video. I pray to you that you share this video. Bili nasema kwamba, Daudi ya kambia mungu, Mimi na juwa hakuna jambo nzuri na weza kupata. Kama tumekosana. Gainene joe gotiri udumwe gaigiona itare hamwe nawe omothe jokira gukwira atiriri gotiri udumwe ga ungiona utare hamwe na ngai ah yes you saying you are new from south africa i'm saying there is nothing good that you can get if you abandon the lord your god come on somebody I am saying this from the bottom of my heart. Nothing good will ever come to you if you abandon the God who picked you up from the dust, who picked you up from the ashes. You could not afford a meal. Remember when you could not afford a dress. Remember when you used to stay with one hairstyle for three months. Remember when you used to struggle even to pay rent. The Bible is reminding us that there is nothing good you will ever get in this life. There is nothing good you will ever enjoy in this life if you have abandoned God. And this day David stood up and said, Lord, I know there is nothing good I will ever get. Oh my goodness, Father, we repent where we have abandoned you. We repent where we thought that it is our ideas that can make us, oh God, shine in life. Father, we repent where, Lord God Almighty, we thought that, Lord, it is our ideas, it is our connection that has, can cause our lives to change. Lord, when we leave you behind, oh God, what we get in return is frustration. What we get in return, it is a being miserable. Lord God Almighty, when we leave you behind, it is being embarrassed oh God and being ashamed dear master how Lord we return to you this afternoon in the name of Jesus many other times oh God we have looked for wells dear master we have thought of of, of finding and looking for our own wells, our own solutions, dear Lord. Father, when our marriages went rocky, dear Lord, we thought that Jehovah God, that counseling is best. Yes, it is good, my Father, but without you, Lord, there is no reconciliation. We repent today in the name of Jesus. We plead with you, O oh God, that, I, that you return us to you, O oh Father, and that you accept us back, dear Master. In the name of Jesus. 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 David spoke and said, Lord, I know there is nothing good. Many other times that we thought because we are wise, we thought because we are beautiful, we are going to get men who are going to marry us. We don't need God. In courtship, we don't need God. When choosing uh, uh, marriage partners, we don't need God. Many other times we thought because we, we want to start a business, we don't need God as we start that business. Many other times we thought because we have children, we don't need God in raising the children because you think that God does not have a family. But listen here and listen well. The Bible says that David one day understood that nothing good will ever befall him if he abandons God. And if I can say, well, outside God, you are only going to be miserable, you are only going to regret, you are only going to be ashamed, you are only going to be frustrated, you are only going to be embarrassed because God is the center 
God is the master of all things. For in him we live and have our being. Come on, somebody type hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you thanks, dear Lord. The Bible says in Psalms 16. Yes, Psalm 16, verse 2. I have told God. This afternoon, I desire that you tell God. This might not be a preaching that has many amens. But I know somebody is returning back. Mm -hmm. Somebody is reconciling with his or her maker. Somebody is telling God, God, I have abandoned you for my own wealth. My God, I have abandoned you for my own wealth. I'm going to pray for you, Sholofelo Kobai. Mm -hmm. Yes, God is going to perform a miracle in the life of your, is it your, your husband? You say, Ma, please, Mama, pray for me. My husband is arrested. He's going to court on the 2nd of November. They don't need want to give him bail. His name is Oyeni Joseph Lanuedu. I declare upon your husband Joseph Oyeni that he's released by the power of the Holy Ghost. For the Bible says that God spoke to Zerubbabel. He told him it is not by might, it is not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. I declare upon him that jail is not his home. In the name of Jesus, he is not going to go to jail for the bible is going to cause a way for him to be released god is going to cause things to happen for him to be given a bail in jesus mighty name we touch and agree on this broadcast and we declare he's free your husband is free kobai your husband is free kobai we speak freedom we speak freedom Every power from his father's house or his mother's house that says that he's going to grow old in jail. Lord, we counter that attack. We counter that voice in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, say amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Saudi kupo ni mimi na ungea pole pole sababu mahali niko. Kuna watu wengine wanafanya kitu wengine. And I felt that I needed to come. Esther Cubs. I needed to come and declare this word. I needed to come and declare this word. I needed to come and just declare this word. I needed to come and just declare this word. I needed to come and declare this word. Come on, somebody type amen. And if you have not shared, continue sharing because I am teaching you something. You know, there are times in life when we feel that because I am getting married to that that young man, he loves me. Uh, you see, he prays a lot. You see, he's, he, he looks handsome. You see, his family is well up. Ah, here, I don't need to pray. Here, I don't need God. Here, on my own, with my beauty and with my class, with my place of work, with where I work, with my English, with my Swahili, with my Zulu, with my language, with the way I present myself, I am enough. My friend, you are not enough without God. In fact, you are not even there. Without God, you are not even half. You are not even being counted as anything because God is the basic. Without God, is like having a house without a foundation. How I pray for you today that you will remember always to found a up things in God. You will remember every day, every moment to found your day, to put a foundation of your day in God. You will tell God, Lord, this is Tuesday. I have never been to Tuesday, 20th October 2020. Lord, I submit myself under your authority this day. And I pray that, Father, as you visit other people, do not pass me by. For the Bible has reminded us that David told God, God, I know without you, Lord, I am as good as useless. Without Without you, Lord, mm. there is nothing good I can get. My shutter. Jesus, I don't know whether you are getting this one. Nimekuwa mahapa sababu, kuna vitu mingi nimeaza kuwabia mungu God. Lord God Almighty, I know without you, my marriage is not a marriage. It is chaos. Lord, I know without you, what I am doing today. Oh, my brother, what you are doing? What you're doing online, 
what you are doing for your family chenye unafanya ke maundu maria wikaga mothe gutire undu no mwe ngai atari muthingi wa maundu macio wewe undu mwe na tuhubibirie kauga atiriri ndiri no undu mwega tiga uria umite hari we no ona maundu maria tuciragia ati andu ari aganu mena mumega ta makahatiri undu no mwe mwega there is nothing good there is nothing if it is not the bible that has spoken today that david told god god God, God, God. Thank you, Jesus. If it is not you, Lord, I can call you. Can you get that go get it? Get guy, get a guy, guy. Can I go and buy? I can call you. Can you get that go get it? Guy. I can call you. Can I go see you? Can I go and buy? Get a guy, get a guy. Angikoro mura tosi ureo ongele ina mutulele ina wakuna tumetu oneka ya ikare. Angikoro vya shara ya ureda kuiga. Tiyako wasi vya kai na gaidane ya mwenayo ya ikare. Look at what happened to Samson. After he was warned, he was told of what to do and what not to do. The Bible says that his eyes were removed. That was not the agenda of God. The agenda of God with Samson as he was being born was to shake the Philistines to finish. Yani, we are anointed to ah, kito maguta wako ni na afiristi. But look at what happened when he abandoned God. What is abandoning God? Abandoning God is abandoning his voice, abandoning his word, abandoning the instructions of God. Because God works with people with instruction. He works with people with with instructions he works with his children with instruction he works with your marriage in instruction he works with your business with instructions he works with your ministry with instructions where there is god there is instruction come on somebody where there is god there is instruction where there is god there are do's and don'ts Don't you ever be deceived that where there is God, there is no plan. When God started to speak in Genesis 1, the Bible says the, the earth was formless and void. But when God started to instruct, he started to, to instruct his elements. He started to create. That is instruction. You are created in instruction. That's why you are the way you are today. That's why your eyes are not behind. That's why your nose is where it is. Because in God, there is instruction. And let me advise you that the instruction of God is forever found in his word. And as you read his word, as you go deeper in his word, unapo endelea kusoma neno, unapo endelea kuwa rafiki wa mungu kupitia kusoma neno, there are things that are being built up in you. You are being built. Your inside man is gaining muscles. He is gaining strength. You are getting enlightened. For the Bible says that in wisdom, a house is built. In knowledge, it is established. Katika building and establishing, it is in two things, the knowledge of God and the wisdom of God. When you start carrying the seven spirits of God, my God, mm -hmm. yes, where there is God, there is instruction. Where there is God, there is order. Where there is God, there are do's and don'ts, grace. You don't do anything because you are born again. You don't do anything because God has blessed you, no. Because God has blessed you, you don't eat food. When you reach halfway, you throw the food. No. There are things, there are things that you cannot do. There are things that you cannot do. I'm just feeling good. I'm just feeling blessed by this word. And I am praying to God that wherever I miss the instruction of God, may God cause me to return. May God cause you to return. May God cause you also to hear his voice when you are instructed, when you are given instruction. Because instruction is not sweet sometimes. There are things you are told to leave. Hmm? You know, even in your house where you live, if you are a mother like me, 
My children live in my house. As their mother and their father, they live under us with daily instructions. Today, you are eating geveli with waru, with veggies, with what? Those are instructions. And because my husband is our master, mm -hmm. we listen to him. I am also a master in my line. So I, I give instructions according to what I want done. That is why I am telling you that you need to abide in the instructions of God. Come on, somebody type amen. Come on, somebody type amen. Bible says in verse 5, Father, I thank you. May God be your inheritance. May God be your inheritance. Even if you don't have anything today, even if you have nothing to show today, may you show them you are God. Because in God, there is everything you need. There is every answer to your question. In God there is solution to your issues. In God there is healing to your sicknesses. In God there is provision to your needs. In God there is instruction to direct you, to instruct you to the way you should follow. Come on somebody type hallelujah. Shiron Jeroge, God bless you. I am saying in God there is everything that you need. And the Bible says in Psalm 16, verse 5, that God is my inheritance. Jehovah never rugai, Ruria Gaid. Atakama hauta pata kitu kingine. Atakama kwa sasa utakuwa hivo. If they ask you what you have, tell them you have God. If they ask you, if they mock you, they ask you, why are you online? Since you're listening to pastors and doing what? Why are you giving and why are you sowing seeds? Why are you following so and so? Just tell them, God is my inheritance. Come on, somebody type hallelujah. God is my inheritance. That's a rich word. God is my inheritance. That is to mean everything I want is in God. So I cannot leave God for anything because he has my anything. Come on, somebody. You cannot leave God and survive. When you leave God, being your inheritance, you are empty. You cannot leave God and survive, my friend. When you have God, you have everything. When you don't have God, you have nothing. The Bible says, Jehovah no eruga irodea gaete. It is only God who can cause your cup to overflow. It is only God who can cause your cup to be filled and to overflow. Yani he fills my cup. Come on somebody. God fills my cup in the morning. He fills my cup in the afternoon. He fills my cup in the evening. He fills my cup at midnight. He fills my cup at dawn. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. May the Lord fill your cup today. May the Lord fill your cup today. In the name of Jesus, with God, may you have your inheritances, the ones that are tied to God. In the name of Jesus, you will not be lacking, for with God, you have your inheritance. With God, you have everything you need for this life. And so I declare to you today, in the name of Jesus, that as God has said in his word, that he is, the, he, is he feels, he is the filling of your cup. Come on, somebody. He is the substance that fills your cup. Are you sharing this? He is the healing to your sickness. Mm. He's the director of your life. Mm -hmm. He's the provision to your needs. Grace Mwangi, God is the provision to your needs. God is the solution to your confusion. 
God is the compass for your direction. Mm. Without God, without God, you are confused. Mm. Without God, you are at a junction. Here about in a crossroad. But with God, He's the compass that gives you direction. In that sickness, Jehovah Rapha, the healer of our diseases, with Him, He is the Rapha. He's the Rapha to that sickness. He's the medicine. To that sickness, he is the balm of Gilead. Hallelujah. He is the balm of Gilead. The balm that heals the wounds, internal wounds, external wounds, internal sicknesses, external sicknesses. The Bible says there is a balm in Gilead that is able to heal. And I speak healing to your spiritual wounds to your internal wounds, the wounds of your heart, the wounds of your mind, the wounds of your emotions. I speak the balm of Gilead in the name of Jesus. May you be healed in your marriage. May you be healed in your, in your business. May you be healed in your ministry. Wherever you are sick, wherever you are sick and in need, wherever you are feeling weak and low, infection. I clear it by the blood of Jesus and I speak a healing to you. I speak a healing to you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are wounded in ministry, wherever you are wounded in your family, wherever you are wounded, oh my goodness, wherever you are wounded, oh my God, wherever you are wounded, I speak healing in that relationship. In that ministry, I speak healing. Some of us, we are oozing past. Some of us, we are bleeding on, on other people. Some of us, we are bleeding on other people. For we, we have left the healer. For we have left the healer. Mm. He knows how to bind together. Come on, somebody, are you sharing this? Mm. Are you sharing this broadcast to as many groups as possible? Yes, as, as God is healing your wounds this afternoon. I don't know whether you are hearing this. I don't know how sick you are. I don't know what kind of pain you are feeling right now. I don't know what you have lacked. For the Bible has told us that God is the content in our cup. God, he fills our cup. And it runneth over. That means as Psalms 23 says. That he anoints my head with oil. And my cup runneth over. That means for you to be anointed. It has only to be God. It, it has to be God. It is only God who can anoint your head. And your cup fills and runs over. I declare to you today. May your cup run over. For you have God in your life. For you have chosen God. May your cup run over. In the name of Jesus. May you not live from heart to mouth. May you not run after money. May you not run after jobs. May the God of this ministry. The God who called me. The God who has called and upheld me all these days. May he cause your cup to run over in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you have given to the work of God. I feel there are people who have been telling God, God, I have served you. I have given. I have been faithful in my tithes and my offerings. I have given my time. I have looked after the elderly. I have looked after the widows and orphans. But yet my life, Lord, is still miserable. Father, I pray for all of them. In the name of Jesus, under this unction of the Holy Spirit and the grace of God, I declare your cup runneth over. 
no more dryness in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that has caused your life to be dry, may it be complaining, may it be be looking down upon yourself. I pray from today, may the Lord show you mercy in the name of Jesus. May the Lord show you mercy until it looks like it is not true, oh God. Father, I pray that you show your people mercy in the name of Jesus. I pray that you show your people mercy in the name of Jesus. I declare mercy over your people. Come on, type amen. I declare mercy over your people. I declare mercy over your people in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that has caused you to be frustrated, whatever it is that has caused you to be frustrated, May God show you mercy today in the name of Jesus. Jen Karioki, receive the healing of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Kwesi Mwangi, may your cup run over. VG Peter, may you be remembered in the name of Jesus. Karo Karos, may heaven be, be kind to you in this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Susan Favored, as you have shared this broadcast, may the Lord remember mercy concerning your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you are our inheritance. Thank you, Lord, because you are helping us, oh God. You are helping us every time, every hour. Lord, you are helping us. Lord, you are causing our cup to run over. I declare an overflow this week. The Lord God Almighty, as your people continue working, Lord, let there be an overflow. I pray for an overflow according to your word. In Psalm 16 and verse 5, in the mighty name of Jesus, let there be an overflow. Let there be an overflow. In grace, Lord, Father, multiply your people. Lord God Almighty, in the works of their hearts, Lord, I pray, let there be an overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give you glory and I give you honor for your faithfulness, O God. For I know that Jehovah God Almighty, you are faithful and you are merciful. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing that you cannot do. Lord God Almighty, there is nothing that you cannot do. Jehovah God Almighty, there is no one that you cannot lift. Lord God Almighty, there is no story that you cannot change. Lord, there is no sickness that you cannot heal. There is no confused situation that you cannot give direction. Father, I pray that you lift your people according to your word, dear Master. Lord, as we wait for the coming back of Christ, we pray that God Almighty, we will not be drunk with the things of the world, dear Lord. But Father, you will help us prepare our girls, O God, that we will not miss our day of rapture. We will not miss, O Father, the great day that you are coming back, Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless these people. I bless each one of them, dear Lord. I speak your blessing concerning them. I speak a running over of their cup. Father, you are going to fill their cups to the brim of God, even unto running over in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare Jehovah after today, wherever there was lack of God and dryness in this life, dear master, I declare overflow, oh God, in the name of Jesus, just as there is nobody who cannot control the river, as it fills up, dear Lord, let this life start filling up, dear master. For the Bible has said so well, that Lord, you cause our cups to overflow. It is you you who causes Lord of oh God Almighty lives to stop being a uh, big hard of oh God. Uh, Father, you are the God who makes life easy. I pray that you help your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because of your mercy. Thank you because of your faithfulness. I give you glory and honor. For it is in Jesus' name we pray and we give you thanks. Come and say hallelujah. Type amen. 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 Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Now, as I wind up, I want you to just believe God for the running over of your cup. And as we, st uh, we started and said that uh, um, it is through God, it's only through God that you're going, that your life is going to change. If you abandon God and start going looking for your own wells, 
you are going to be so frustrated. Return back to God and let God be your guide. Let God be your compass. At, in, the days of, in the days of Saul, the prophet of God Samuel, by the help of God and by the leading of the Holy Spirit, was able to locate the donkeys of Kish, the father of Saul. That is to tell you that God knows what you have lost. Before you go finding the donkeys, go find God. Because God knows where the donkeys are. You can spend the rest of your life trying to follow up with donkeys, trying to chase them, trying to think that you're going to see them, trying to think they are at a certain place. You can spend the rest of your life trying to look even for a, a good marriage, trying to look for money, trying to, to stand in salvation. Please, stop chasing those things. Start chasing God. Chase God until you get hold of Him. And when you get hold of Him, you call Him your inheritance. I am 100% sure that your cup must and must and must overflow. That is to me, you must be blessed to a level that you are going to touch other lives because when the water overflows, you cannot control where it is going to wet in Jesus' name. So God bless you. God do you well. I love you so much. And it's a wonderful Tuesday. I'm going to be coming back here next Tuesday by the grace of God with a word. And I believe that today you've been blessed. Even next Tuesday you're going to be blessed. Continue sharing uh, this broadcast. Continue sharing it with family and friends. Let them know when you leave God, when you abandon God, your life enters into a mess that uh, you only correct when you return to God. In the name of Jesus, I give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for entrusting me with these souls, O oh God, to feed them with your word. I pray that whatever is their heart desire, you honor it according to the riches in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for you know the beginning from the end. Lord God Almighty, there is nothing too hard for you to do. There is nothing you cannot do. Father, I thank you for I hear you saying, there is nothing you cannot do. Lord God Almighty, you can do abundantly and exceedingly above all we ever think about. Thank you for what you are doing, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise and I give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, come on, say amen. Amen, amen, amen. Whatever it is that you would love to support this work of God with, you can always inbox me and be a blessing to this ministry. God bless you so much. God do you well. And I'm going to end there because I'm still at my place of work and I believe that God has already spoken to somebody because he had an agenda of speaking to you and already the message is home and I give God all the glory. I give God all the honor. I give God all the adoration. May your cup run over and may God be your inheritance. May you never depart from God and may you always say that God, you are my master. You are my inheritance. Lord, because of you, my cup overflows. Shalom, shalom. I see so many of you. Jen Karioki, Viji Peter. I see Kathy Kinajui. Thank you so much. You're saying God bless you, woman of God. Thank you, my sister. Even you, God bless you. Viji Peters. I see you. John Maura, Shiro Wangoi, Peris Peter. I see all of you. May God cause your, your cups to run over. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. God bless you.